They big mad because you get into the bag. But where were they when you was broke, busted, and disgusted? Shout out to the WTC game. We the chosen ones, baby. I need every star seed, every divine one. I need every chosen one undivided attention right now. Because we have to get to a point of our lives, chosen ones, where we got to have that mentality of we don't give a damn about what other people think. We have to learn to let people be big mad because they big mad right now. I need every chosen one to put in the comments below and say, you might as well be big mad because I'm getting paper. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below, chosen ones, and say, you might as well be big mad. I'm going to still get this paper. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. Why do you think people are not calling you anymore? Why do you think people don't even invite you out to events anymore? Why do you think people don't want to be bothered with you anymore, chosen ones? It's because we get into this bag. Y'all better pay attention to what's going on. Chosen ones. You've elevated. Everybody don't elevate when we elevate, chosen ones. You have to understand that the more you elevate, chosen ones, the more you out here being successful, the more you get into this bag. Not everybody is getting to this bag like you, chosen ones. So when they see you, let me tell you something, chosen ones. They know that you out here getting to this paper. Keep on moving in silence, chosen ones. Don't tell your left hand what your right hand is doing. Yes, they big man. But where were these people when you was broke, busted, and disgusted? Ain't it funny? Because I'm going to keep it real. It was a, a point in time in my life when I was literally broke, busted, and disgusted. All at once. And you know what's so funny? Everybody hit me up. Everybody wanted me to come out and hang out. Everybody wanted me to be at the show or to be at the event or let's go, let's go turn up at this club. Everybody already knew. But I was broke. I was busted. I was disgusted. And people are okay with that. And I was hanging around other people that was broke, busted, disgusted. This is why I'm telling you right now, chosen ones, birds of a feather really flock together because now I'm not broke. I'm not busted. I'm not disgusted now. But where are they now? When, when, when the saying said it's lonely at the top, it's really lonely at the top, chosen ones. You think you, you're going to have other people in your corner you know, hip hip hooraying you on to the next level. You think people are gonna be patting you on the back? Keep going, keep going. No, it's levels to this shit, y'all. And when I mean it's levels to success, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can't get on that level that you're on right now, chosen ones. That's why we gotta have a tunnel vision on our vision. I mean, tunnel vision on our mission. Excuse me. You gotta be tunnel vision. Because sometimes we might get distracted. We might get caught off guard. We might take a break, right? Take a day break, right? But you got to get back up and get back in that race. You got to get back in that race to this bag. You still got to provide for your family. You still got to provide for your children, chosen ones. We don't have no time for distractions. We don't have time to be caring about other people's feelings. Stay out your feelings, chosen ones, and let's get to this bag. Let me tell you something. Sometimes you got to talk to yourself, chosen ones, so that you won't cry. Because certain, certain situations come in our head, or if we listen to certain music, we think about a certain situation that brings tears to our eyes. But I'm here to tell you right now, speaking to yourself it doesn't mean you're retarded. Talking to yourself don't mean that you're slow or, you know what I mean, you can't really, you know, comprehend or whatever the case may be. But speaking to yourself, chosen ones, is one of the best things you can do being the chosen one. You know why? Because all odds are against us. We don't got nobody we can talk to. That's why the chosen ones, we talk to ourselves.
Because all we got is ourselves. Who can we run to if we needed advice? And then if you, if you ask the wrong person for advice, guess what? They're going to give you the wrong advice. Who can we run to when we need protection? Who can the chosen ones run to when we, when we, when we need love? Who can we run to when we're broke? That's the question you got to ask yourself. Who can I run to if I'm broke? I'm tapped. Nobody. That's what I'm saying. Keep getting to this bag. Stay out the way. You ain't got to hang out with everybody and a mama. Because I'm telling you right now, they can't go to where God is taking you. A lot of your fake friends, a lot of your family members are mad at you right now, chosen ones. Because you know why? You are successful. You are successful. I would be mad too, to be honest. If I was the Decepticon, I'd be mad too. If I demoralize somebody's dreams or if I was always jealous of somebody, I'd be big mad too if I see another chosen one. If I was a Decepticon, that's what I'm saying. But I'm not, I'm not mad because I'm the chosen one. I'm a congratulator. I'm not a hater. But I will be big mad if I was a Decepticon too. So you got every right to be mad, Decepticons. You got every, every right to be confused and frustrated. I feel your pain. But where the hell were you guys when the Chosen Ones was broke, busted, and disgusted? I need every Chosen One to put this in the comments below and say, where were you? Where was everybody when you didn't even have a pot to piss in? Where was everybody when you was working this whack-ass 9 to 5 job and they wouldn't even offer you a full-time position? All they had for you was a part-time and get on up out of here. Where were people at when you needed them the most? They all disappeared on those chosen ones. So why should we show love in return? Why should we start supporting people that never supported us? Why, why should we break bread with people that don't even want to break bread with us? Let me tell you something about real friends. When you got real friends in your corner, they going to break bread with you. Don't you ever forget that, Chosen Ones. When you got some real friends in your corner and they breaking bread with you, you keep them friends around. If you got some so-called friends in your life, they don't want to even give you a dollar. They don't want to break no bread with you. Every time you ask them for a favor, they look at you funny. You ain't got no real friends. Because we know money is the answer to all things. You know how many times I done... Show people and show Negroes and show, you know, friends and family how to eat. I don't taught people how to fish. I don't taught people how to really get out here and go get it. You know how many people I got hired where I worked. Come on, man, we hired. Come get some of this money. Because I, I'm never a hater. I've never been a hater. Never will be a hater. Because guess what? It's plenty of more out here for everybody. I can say it wasn't enough. Then you got a reason to hate. But in all actuality, what God got for you is going to be for you. There's no, there's no need to be hating. I don't get why people are jealous of other people that got money that is successful when it's so much money that you can make yourself. This is why they're jealous of us. This is why people have hatred and envy towards us. But it's sad because while they worrying about your bag, while they pocket watching you, they can be out here doing the same thing, getting the same bag, minding their goddamn own business. But no, all eyes is on the chosen one. All eyes is on us. All eyes is waiting for us to fall. But no weapon formed against the WTC family will prosper because we are really chosen by the most high God. And we are and when we are God's chosen vessel, can nothing break us apart from the love of Christ. Can nothing break the chosen ones from God and his protection and his grace and his mercy over the chosen one's life. Can nothing break our relationship with Christ. Let your enemies be big mad all they want. Let your haters be big mad all they want. Go in the corner and cry. Go pout, go fold your arms in the corner because I'm still going to get to this bag. Don't let nobody stop you from getting this bag. Don't let nobody distract you from getting this bag. But where were they when you was broke, busted, and goddamn disgusted? Where was everybody at? 
When you couldn't even rub two nickels together. <laughs> you couldn't. I'm being honest with y'all. It was a point in time in my life I couldn't even rub two nickels together. I was afraid to ask for somebody for $20, $10, $5. Because I already know what the, the response was going to be. Nigga, you better get out there and get it on your own. So I have to get out here and get it on my own. And I'm okay with that. Because I'm a go-getter. I'm going to get this bag. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below. And say, I don't have a problem with getting this bag. Because I'm a go-getter. When you're chosen, we go-getters. We don't, we don't wait till stuff is handed to us on a silver platter. We don't do that. We go-getters. Whether you like it or not, we're going to get ours. So I'm here to let you guys know. Let them be big man. Because I done made it to a point in my life, chosen ones, I don't give a rat's ass to what people think about me or how they feel about me. Because whether you're doing good or whether you're doing bad, they still going to talk about your ass. Now that's sad. I need every chosen one to comment 1111 below as we just passing 1111 right now. I need every chosen one. I need to see all 1111 comments below right now because success is going to be at your front door. Y'all better pay attention. Abundance is going to be at your front door. Prosperity is going to be at your front door. You would never be broke, busted, and disgusted again in your life in the name of Jesus. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say I will never be broke, busted, or disgusted again in my life in the name of Jesus. God is your ultimate provider. And when you fall in Christ, he going to make sure you got everything you need. Because I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor the seed begging bread. You ain't going to be begging for no bread because God going to provide everything that you need and more. The Bible says, I will, God says, I will supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory in Christ Jesus. God is basically telling us, don't worry about what we're going to eat, what we're going to drink. Because he's the ultimate provider. Look on the back of a dollar bill. What does it say on the back of a dollar bill? In God we trust. Put your trust in the Lord. And I promise you he's going to open up the foundations of the, of the, of the earth. And he's going to pour you out a blessing. Room enough to where you can't receive it. This is your winning season. And when you in your winning season, chosen ones, people going to really be talking about you. They're going to be looking at you, acting funny, acting weird. But I don't give a damn. Because guess what? It's my winning season. You had your turn. Don't be afraid to put that in the comments below, chosen ones, and say, you had your turn, devil. It's my turn now. It's my winning season now. You had your time. You had your five seconds, five months, five years of fame. Devil been, been running for years. Devil, you didn't have your turn. It's the WTC family turn. It's the chosen one's turn to get what God has for us. Amen. Please join my WTC mentor program. Four people joined last night. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Four people just joined the WTC mentor program. So I have a lot of work, a lot of work that needs to be done, which is fine. But email me, join my mentor program. And I guarantee you, I will get you to the next level of your life. Email will be in the description below. Amen. PayPal and my cash shop will also be in the description below. If God put in your heart to give to be a blessing. And don't you ever forget, if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. Amen. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. And if you need motivation and if you need inspiration... You already know you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wild world, your boy. We the chosen ones. Be blessed.